Hello and welcome to another update video about Tia. Celestia um, hasn't really moved um, much since September. We had a little bit of a move up, uh, move down. But the thing is, the move up looks somewhat, a little bit at least, like a five wave move up. So it is one of the few one two setups that we might have here on the chart. At least there could be an attempt here of an upside breakout from here. The bulls need to turn up, however. Um, the overall chart isn't great because the initial rally was in three waves and that's just not clearly bullish. The pullback was okay, you know, we did land in the support area, we did stop that local downtrend, or oh, actually it's quite, it's, it's more than a local downtrend, we, we stopped that correction, yeah, in, in September at least temporarily and above the 78.6 retracement, now that's important because any sustained break below the 78.6 retracement indicates weakness, but the price did hold a higher low and we could be moving up now in um, in the C wave, right? So at least there's an attempt. I think this is the first attempt now since that September low or in that entire correction that we've spotted here a possible five wave move up. Is it a beautiful one? Not really, it doesn't really have a lot of structure in there. But it's possible that this is consider or that you can consider it a five wave move up. So we can at least watch if the bulls can hold support. This so called one two setup, which yeah could be a setup for a third wave rally, um, has support at four dollars and twenty three, which means the price shouldn't really break below four twenty three to to let's say to uphold that one two setup. Um, that's the seventy eight point six retracement on the smaller time frame. A break below it will likely lead to a test of the invalidation point. Well, that's located at 380, yeah, at 380, which is the September low. And below that, I mean, we have some wiggle room below the 78.6 retracement, or rather between the 78.6 retracement at 423 and the invalidation point, but it's really only some wiggle room. There isn't much, and there is absolutely no wiggle room if the price invalidates the structure. What would be needed to indicate that we've started the next move up? I think a move above the October high here. Yeah, the October high would be a good indication. That's the B wave high located at 651. If we can get a move above that level, that would be an indication that a third wave rally to the upside has actually started. And if a third wave starts from here, again, we haven't got a low in place. I mean, there's still a local downtrend. There's absolutely no sign we're turning around. So still be careful. Looks a bit like catching a falling knife, but it might be something for the watch list. So the third wave should get minimally, but maybe higher, minimally to 984. That's the 138% extension. So it would be a 2x from here, but we haven't started that move yet. So and th those projections, and that's only what they are, mathematical projections, they will change if the price goes a little lower, which seems likely. But I would pay attention to 423 next as support and then if there is a reaction, then this could be a start of a third wave. That's the update about Tia. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.